I like to dialogue with my mind. Now, that sounds quite funny to say that you have a dialogue and a conversation with your mind. But anybody that does deep work with their mind, whether through meditation, whether through contemplation, whether through mind power, uh, whether simply observing how your mind works, is that you find is that your mind is talking to you all the time. It's telling you things. It's commenting. Things are too, it's too cold today. Or uh, uh, I'm not comfortable today. Or I don't like the people that I'm with. Or uh, I don't like my job. Or my marriage isn't working out well. Or I wish I had more money. Or isn't this a delicious meal? Or, so your mind is constantly commenting and has a narrative and is thinking all the time. And it's very valuable to, first of all, know that and observe it. Because one of the very first teachings that I give in the Mind Power Training, in, in right the very beginning of lecture number one, is that you are not your mind. And to realize that you're not your mind, that your mind is a part of you, and a very important part of you, a very valuable part of you, often a very distracting part of you, but it's only a part of you. You are much beyond simply your mind. And your mind talks to you all the time. So you get to talk to your mind as well. Sometimes at night, and this is quite often when I do it, I'm lying in bed and uh, I'm thinking thoughts and, and, and I'll just stop and I'll ask my mind, I'll say, what do you want to think about right now? And the mind just kind of goes, oh, it, 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 it feels seen, it feels noticed, it, 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 it feels actually a little bit vulnerable. It's like, what do you mean, what do I want to think about? Well, what, what would you like to think about? And the mind might say, I want to think about how upset I am about some, and it names some person, an incident that happened maybe, uh, few days ago or a week ago. I want to think about how terrible this person is. And you go, okay, you have that option, but can I give another suggestion to you? Why don't you have compassion for this person? Why don't we, you and your mind, why don't we have compassion? Would you be willing to have compassion for this person? The mind says, no, I don't want to have compassion. And I want to feel really angry. And you can say to the mind, okay, then um, you can be angry. And, and, but you know what? How's that going to make us feel? Why don't you be angry for a Let's be angry for a couple minutes. And your mind gets really angry for a couple minutes. And then you go, now, how does that make us feel? The mind says, I, I, I'm, I'm angry, I'm upset. I, I, well, do we like this feeling? No, we don't like this feeling. Let's try compassion for this person. Let's realize that maybe this person is wounded internally. Maybe they're going through a lot of problems and difficulties. And let's try compassion. Let's do that for the next two minutes. And the mind says, okay, let's have compassion for that person. And you have compassion for that person for two minutes. And then you say to the mind, how does that feel? And the mind goes, that feels much better. All right, then here's what we're going to do is I will let you think what you want to think sometimes, and you let me think what we want to think. And I have different things. For example, um, it's been a long day today. I think that I would like to feel gratitude right now. Can we feel gratitude together? 
Do we have anything to be uh, thankful for in our life? The mind will say, well, let me think. And it will come up for reasons on why to be thankful. And you move into gratitude. And so that's exactly how you work with the mind at different times when it could be maybe maybe you know when you're when you're doing your meditation or or throughout the day to take out i mean we take coffee breaks why not take a mind break why not take a break through your day several times through your day where the mind will think what you want it to think and you can work with love you can work with inner peace you can work with gratitude you can work with success you can work with faith i mean there's so many ways that you can work with the mind and get it to meditate and contemplate or you can work with worry you can work with fear, you can work with anger, you can work with resentment. All these are possibilities. And the mind has a whole range of things that it can think about. So the first thing is to be aware that your mind is thinking all the time. And secondly, your mind is not you. You're separate from your mind. Your mind is only a part of you. You have the ability and actually the responsibility to dialogue with the mind and to guide the mind and to train the mind and instruct the mind. And what I found with the mind is the mind loves to be trained. The mind doesn't like to be out of control. The mind doesn't like to be fear and worry. It just, it falls into that trap. And it falls into that trap because it doesn't have you guiding it. But when you can enter into dialogue and guide your mind, your mind will become your best friend, your absolute best friend, your biggest supporter, and you'll be quite a team together.